Hi everybody in English 1301. Welcome to our last week. You have come so far. You've put so much work into this course. So just a few more things ahead of us and then we're, we'll officially be done. So hang in there. We're almost there. Okay. I'm going to pull up our schedule so we can kind of take a look at what's ahead of us. So remember that your paper portfolio, your paper topic portfolio was due to D2L um, by 1159 p.m. on Sunday. So hopefully everybody submitted that. If you haven't, please go right now, immediately. Don't even finish watching this, hit pause. Go and submit that to um, the assignments area of D2L, okay? So get that out of the way. Um, remember that on Monday, so today, your multimedia project is going to be due at 11.59 p.m. and that's in the discussion area. Um, so just like we did the work in um, peer reviewing and then all our previous weekly discussions, you're gonna post your multimedia project in D2L. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, and then Tuesday by 11.59 p.m., um, I want you to please complete the course reflection, okay? Um, so that's going to be in the quiz area of D2L, so that's a new space for us, so I'm going to walk us through that as well. Um, I also want to mention that even though it's not on the syllabus, it is in the, um, the rubric and it's also in the instructions that are posted in uh, the discussion area. For your multimedia project, there's also uh, participation credit. So you want to go in and respond to at least five other people in our class. And y'all, this is just kind of show people that you've taken the time to look at their work. A lot of you have spent plenty of time creating, writing, doing whatever project it is that you wanted to do. So let's spend some time looking at other people's efforts and work, okay? All right, so that's our final week. We're so close to being there, right? I'm going to pull up D2L. Um, I want you to note that there are a few announcements if you haven't seen them already. Uh, one of them is just generally uh, about the, the peer review process. Um, for the most part, everybody did a great job on that. There were some people's work who I was not able to see. Um, therefore, I couldn't give a full grade, so just go in and make sure that you've done everything you need to do to get as much credit as possible for that assignment. Uh, and then there's some information about the, the portfolio. All right, I also want you to note that on the right-hand side, you'll see that there is um, a little calendar area so that you can click right to each of the things that are gonna be due. I'm also gonna go in and I'll post our weekly schedule just like I've done in the past, but I'm just gonna show you from here where to go just because this is something that you can do, but again, I'll post everything in our weekly schedule area as well in the content area, okay? So the final portfolio, right, notice that I'm taping this before, <laughs> before it is due, so that might not appear in what you're seeing, uh, you know, when you log in. The course reflection is going to be due right on the 7th, and then if you click on that, it will take you to that area. You'll just click here and it'll open some questions. I just, y'all want your feedback, right? The, the course reflection is really a way for you to provide some feedback to me so that in thinking about the course, in working um, to revise ideas, efforts, assignments, um, I can get your feedback on that. This is the first time I've taught this course online, so any feedback is going to be really useful. So you get a grade for your feedback, but the grade is so it's not based on your honesty. So if you need to provide a little bit of constructive feedback to me, I welcome that, but I'm not going to penalize or judge your, you know, you're not going to receive points off of your grade for offering that kind of honest feedback. So don't hold back, okay? So I'm going to go back to our main page, right? And then in the discussion area, I'm going to go to the multimedia project area, okay? So I'm just going to scroll down because I really want to review a little bit of the, you know, a few of the instructions because sometimes this is where things go a little bit wrong for students and I don't want that to be us, okay? So I want you to definitely take some time to review the guidelines here and also watch the video, refresh your memory. Uh, it may have been a while since you actually looked at that or looked at the guidelines, so definitely do that. In order to post, you're going to click, you know, start new thread. And I really, y'all, please use your name as the subject line. Um, there's been a little bit of loosey-goosey going on with some uh, discussion posts in the past regarding this, but please put your name in the subject line because it really just helps me go through and make sure that I'm grading everything correctly, giving the right credit to the right person, okay? So I want you to then paste your revised and edited paragraphs into the text box, okay? Um, please type them up in Microsoft Word, whatever word processing um, program that you use, but 
because that's where you can edit them, right? I want everything to be revised and edited before you copy and paste it. Um, so once you paste it in there, then you need to upload your, your project. So for some of you, that's going to be a PowerPoint. For some of you, it may be a document. Um, if you did a video or something like that, then it would be a link. Just include that link in the text box um, because uh, there's no way to upload a, a video that is useful in D2L because it will take a ton of time. So just uh, use a link. Um, and this is all; these are all things that are included in that instructional video, right? Um, I just want to revisit some of this briefly. Okay, once you paste that, just double check, go back and revise it one more time, make sure that you've caught anything you need to. Um, after you've attached your project, I really, y'all, please, after you have uploaded your project, go back in and make sure that you can open your project. Make sure you can open that video or you can, you know, that link to the video or open that PowerPoint. Um, I would suggest, too, to ask other people to do the same because if other folks in the class can't, open and access your work, I can't either. And that means you don't get the grade for it, right? So just double check that you've done everything um, so that your work is visible. So remember your project is due on uh, Monday, tomorrow, today, right? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting you are looking at this on Monday, so it is due today. Um, you need to respond to five of your colleagues and that's gonna be by 11.59 p.m. right on, uh, on Tuesday. Um, I want you to note that yes, your course reflection is due at the same time on the same date, so just make sure that you're kind of balancing all of that, okay? Um, so if you open the multimedia project itself, it looks like any of our discussion posts, right? So it'll look, you know, you start a new thread, you do whatever you need to do. It's not opening right now because my internet is being really fussy. So you should be able to open that and post your work there. Okay, I do want you to note that in the assignments area, you probably noticed this when you posted your uh, portfolio work. Um, if you go to the assignments area, you'll see that there is some, some information about extra credit. Okay, this is just kind of your last effort to get as many points as possible because I need you to know that I do not round up with grades. Um, so this is your best chance to get every possible point you possibly can in this class because after uh, the class is over, that's essentially it. Okay, so take some time to look through this and see if you would like to take um, or put in some effort and some time to complete something. I'm going to work y'all as fast as I can to turn some of these grades around. So I want you to note that when it comes to providing really lengthy and in-depth feedback on your portfolio, you may not see that. Some of it is just going to be kind of quick and to the point because I want you to see your grades as soon as possible and to see any of that feedback ahead of time. So just note that I'm teaching two classes. Um, there's a lot of work for me to go through, but I am going to take as much time as I can with each of your, your projects and each of your portfolios and provide the necessary feedback, okay? But if you have questions after the fact, you can always email me. Um, I'm not saying that I can provide you with a lot of feedback via email about your grade, uh, but we can always set up a time to meet via WebEx or on instant messages to talk about a particular grade. Um, but I know that y'all are really focused on finishing strong and getting as many points possible. Um, so just keep up that effort, keep up that energy because we are almost there. It has been a true, true pleasure uh, working with you this summer session, and I wish you all the best as you finish out this summer and some of you are heading off to different schools or different places or wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, I do wish you the best. I welcome any kind of um, uh, contact with you in the future. So if you want, shoot me up an email, you know, let me know how things are going. Uh, remember that um, I'm, I'm always here for you if you have any questions about writing or college in general in the future. So take care, good luck, and thanks for a wonderful summer session.